Hey, and welcome to another episode of 365 Thoughts on Confidence. I trust you are showing up wherever you are right now in your most confident way. If not, then welcome to today's video where I hope you gain a new spark in confidence to help you move forward thusly. As you can see, I'm out of the office again. I am out and about, this time in the country the countryside of Somerset West. Look at those gorgeous horses and apparently there's some babies there too. Uh, just attended another business network and met some amazing people and uh, this is one that I've never attended before. So it was a real uh, nice change of scenery and getting me out of my comfort zone, meeting with people that I wouldn't normally meet with. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Abigail and this is my daily vlog where I share thoughts on confidence to help you become your most confident self because confidence is something that you build one day at a time so if you feel like you could do with a daily boost of confidence then please consider subscribing to the channel so today's thought on confidence is be the start of the confidence ripple so i'll be honest that with this being a a new network that i haven't attended before and I, so I didn't know as many people as I normally do know at these events and I was late because there was a hum huge amount of traffic on the highway so it was a bit awkward walking in not knowing anybody being late and like feeling all of that discomfort I can't remember what I was gonna say <laughs> um, oh, now I remember so uh, the point being that you know you have to be the kind of the the pebble in the water of confidence that sends out those ripples so i was feeling i wasn't feeling my most confident self this morning and the exercise like the speaker that they had i'm just gonna wait for the tractor to go <laughs> so i wasn't feeling my most confident this morning as i usually do at these networks because it was yeah, it was out of my normal routine. Um, oh, I've forgotten it again. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But in spite of that discomfort and in spite of that lack of confidence, because of the work that I have set out to do and because of the momentum that has been built over the years of me being very intentional about elevating confidence and investigating confidence and talking about confidence, it means that I have to actually walk my talk and even on those days when I'm not feeling confident like this morning oh, and and that's what I was just gonna say was that the speaker was talking to us about how to stand up and deliver an effective elevator pitch and so we had to write down what we wanted to say I'm just gonna wave to somebody we had to write down what we wanted to say, what we wanted to, how we wanted to introduce ourselves to the room. Uh, and so that was, you know, that was also novel. That was also new because I didn't say my usual thing. I, it was fairly close to what I normally say when I stand up and introduce myself, but it was new. And so as with anything that is new, it is uncomfortable and then you feel less confident. But because of the momentum that I have built up over the years of, of you know, inspiring confidence and talking about confidence, I do it in spite of my momentary lack of confidence. So even though I was nervous and even though I wasn't sure and I had to look at my notes, I stood up and I did it with as much confidence as I could muster in that moment because I know what an effect that can have on me but also on the, the women that need to hear it. So the ripple effect that you can have by showing up as your most confident self is something that you benefit from but also that other women ben benefit from other people around you who see you standing up in spite of your insecurities and in spite of your uh, discomfort being showing up as your most confident self that inspires them to give it a go you can never know what impact your actions and they might seem like insignificant actions, but you can never know what impact those actions have on those who are watching you, those who are around you, who are observing you. That ripple effect could go far further than you ever anticipated. 
and I, I mean, I just had that happen now as well, where I was speaking to somebody who I've had um, many chats with over a, a number of months. And uh, I actually showed her what the thought of the day was. And she said that she herself has experienced significant changes in her personal confidence as a result of the conversations that we've been having that I don't even realize the shifts that she's had and that for me just gives me goosebumps when I hear that because it's my intention is always to try to inspire women to show up as their most confident self but I don't know necessarily what it is that I do that will start that that will spark that ripple I don't know what it is Specifically, is it something that I say? Is it something that I do? Is it something that I share? You know, I, I have no idea. So my obligation is just to keep showing up. And I, I repeat myself on this video all the time, but that's not to say that the third time that you hear something might be the time that it actually clicks into place for you. So bear that in mind when you go about your, your daily business. You are creating an impression on those people around you whether it's family or it's work related, you know, they, they observe you and you don't know what exactly is going to help somebody else because you are standing up in the name of confidence for yourself. So it's a win-win situation because if you do that, you win and the people around you win. And then just think from there, it can go even further that the person who you inspired they stand up in the name of confidence and they go on and inspire somebody else and so the ripple continues so it builds momentum and so it might go around the world you never know what impact one small act of confidence can have and then there's also the fact that you don't know how an elevation in your body confidence might have an impact on how you show up in your business you know that the ripple effect of that that if you if you're area of concern that once you get that into a place and a feeling of confidence that suddenly your business starts to run differently because you are showing up differently and so it's all connected it's all connected you focus you think you're working on your body confidence but meanwhile you're working on your mind confidence and then suddenly you're doing public speaking better and then you're making more deals and then you're making more money and then you're enjoying life more so the ripple effect of elevating your confidence in one small area that might seem insignificant can have a profound effect on other areas of your life as well so that's my thought for the day I would love to hear your thought in response to this thought let me know in the comments down below what ripples you've experienced as a result of working on your confidence I'd love to hear if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications button so you don't miss tomorrow's video and if you want to get yourself your own copy of 365 thoughts on confidence book then check out the the shop link below as well and lastly if you are in the Cape Town area and you recognize that it's time for you to take your confidence to the next level then please join me for my workshop that's happening on Tuesday the 20th of March in Constantia I would love to have you there and to commemorate the shift in your confidence that I know you're going to have. I'm also going to be taking a portrait of you for you to take home with you. So I would love to see you there. I would love to help you have your own confidence ripple and yep, sign up details below. So until tomorrow, time to get back to the studio, time to go on and do some shoot. I will see you tomorrow.